I'm Yolanda Vasquez and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now in our studio is Robert Henry. He is a Veterans Affairs Coordinator here at the College of Southern Maryland. Robert, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here in our studio. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. So you've been working in this capacity for the last few years. Tell me exactly what it is you do. Well, as a Veterans Affairs Coordinator, I assist the veterans to acquire and to properly use their education benefits at the College of Southern Maryland, as well as helping them to apply for other benefits as they may need them, acquire a uh, COBS or DD-214 if they cannot find one or have misplaced it. When you say veterans, nature. what's the very definition of that? Well, for the VA purposes, a veteran is anyone who has ever worn the uniform okay. for the United States military. But you were saying Guard. in terms of coming to get education benefits, they could possibly be active duty, reservists. Tell me a little bit more, broaden the Correct. scope there. Most of the veterans who are using education benefits, uh, CSM, are no longer serving actively, uh, but they can be active duty military as well, as well as reservists and National Guardsmen. And the education benefits consist of what? What is it that they need to know, and how do you kind of navigate that for them? Well, they need to know uh, basically when they served, because that's going to dictate what benefits they had and if they have expired or not, and then how they use them. Some of the benefits pays directly to the college for their tuition and fees. Other, the service member collects a stipend, but they have to pay their own way, but they use a stipend to help pay themselves back. So it's on a case-by-case -case basis, depending on your service, when you got out, the whole nine. Yes, ma'am. Now, in addition to the education benefits, there's also tuition assistance. Yes, ma'am. Tell me more about that. The tuition assistance for the, is uh, for military personnel who are still serving and their spouses. And the military would uh, sign up for classes and then apply for tuition assistance through their branch of service, whether it's the Navy, Marine Corps, Army, Air Force, Coast Guard, uh, National Guard. And then the service pays the college the tuition the student has to pay any additional fees and for their own books. And for spouses, for uh, there's something called MyCAA. That's for spouses of junior military personnel to also uh, be able to take Utilize college that. classes. Do you think a lot of people don't realize all that's available to veterans when it comes to education yeah. benefits and assistance? I think a lot of people do not realize it. Um, yeah. Most of the veterans who have served get a pretty good briefing when they leave the military about okay. what's available. Um, but it's really hit or miss. and. Uh, yeah. There's benefits that are available for some who've been out for a while and they didn't realize they had them. And that's all the more reason why it's good to have you here. Let's talk about some of the other resources that are available here at the College of Southern Maryland. Oh, sure. Well, as the college, you know, none of us who work here try to be the experts in everything. And so we do have resources available, not just for all of our students, but that our veterans can utilize as well. So obviously my office takes care of the veteran piece. But if a student needs additional resources, say tutoring, we can put them in touch with the Student Success Center. Uh, there's workshops student success can apply, give to them so they can be more successful. Uh, some of our veterans do have disabilities, and we can put them in touch with disability support so they can receive accommodations and help them to be successful. Our time is going quickly. In the last 20 or so seconds, let's talk a little bit more about CSM being designated as military-friendly. What exactly right. does that mean? Well, we've been designated as military-friendly and best for vets. It's two different, two different uh, designations. And what that does is every year we receive a survey and all the colleges who work with the military and the veterans receive these surveys. And we have to apply them, or apply for the uh, designation. And what the organizations do is they do a comparison of the resources that are available, such as do we have a resource center for the veterans on campus? Do we have a designated standalone office for the do we have special events such as a veterans breakfast? And once they like fall that. into that criteria, then the designation. Yeah. Then the designation is awarded. Real quickly, tell me about an event you have in November. We have a veterans recognition breakfast. It's always the week of Veterans Day. This year it will be on Thursday, November the 9th. And we have special speakers come in. All the veterans who are affiliated with the college are invited. And it's uh, been a pretty good event. We'd like to just recognize our veterans uh, for what they've done for the country. Robert Henry, it was a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you so much for your service as well and the work Thank that you. you're continuing to do on behalf of veterans. We appreciate your time today. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. And that'll do it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Yolanda Vasquez. Thanks for watching, everybody. We look forward to seeing you very soon.